soon. And I can't put it in the front. So anyway, sup, sup. Yeah, I've had a good morning, bro. Was it too bad? I... Actually, I did have a good morning. I woke up early. Oh my god, it feels so weird. It feels so weird looking this way. It's, it's like I'm directly talking to you guys. I don't get paid enough for this, quite frankly. Honestly, we might, we might have to move it back before this hour is over because uh, you guys do not pay enough. This is free. Anyway, Wednesday, my day off from the gym, I do my cardio, you know? Uh, today, I was on red alert because Kayla got her teeth filled. Or not filled. Got, went to the dentist to get a couple ca cavities. Yeah, she had a dirty mouth, bro. That little tramp. Kidding. Obviously kidding. Um, so I was on standby because she asked me if she wanted to go with me, if I wanted to go with her because they were putting her to sleep or they were giving her laughing gas. Now, in case you guys don't know, Kayla is a talker. It is what it is. Kayla talks. Kayla's that person that right when you open, open your eyes in the morning, she's trying to talk to you, bro. Like, like you're just waking up, like rubbing your eyes and shit, you know? Kayla's like, let me tell you about my dream. Let me tell you about my dream. I swear to God, I'm like Kratos nowadays, bro. I, I, I always been. I'm just like, mm, mm, because I'm a good boyfriend. So I'm, I, I always have an open ear. If I just grunt like, mm, like that, it's not a yes or a no. Well, Kayla, it, it's, okay, if you had any social awareness, you would know, okay, he doesn't want to talk to me, right? So I go, mm-mm. Kayla's like, that's a yes! And she just, like, starts spewing blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so they gave her laughing gas. So she wanted me to come with her. I didn't, though, because the doctor said that, it, the dentist said that it, it's okay, it wears off. So Kayla, I was waiting for Kayla, blah, 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 blah. She came home, like, four hours later. The first thing she says to me was they couldn't get the laughing gas dosage to work. And then she said it started to work, and she was talking too much. So the dentist, like, then she ended up cussing out the dentist or dentist or something. All I could think about was like, oh my god, that poor guy, that poor dentist. He doesn't get paid enough for this to deal with Kayla talking while trying to get her teeth cleaned or whatever. I just felt bad for him. So I've been waiting, like, checking my phone every five minutes for like the last three hours, waiting for uh, a text. To Kayla, come pick me up. I can't drive. Come, come pick me up. They call the cops on me or something crazy like that. Anyway. So I did go for a, that's that. We were supposed to have a guy come to, for something. He ended up coming, so I was waiting for that too. It is Wednesday, so I did get my sunlight. I did do my walk. Last week we did a 10-minute walk. It wasn't bad. This Wednesday I did a stretch session. A stretch session followed by a light walk plus a cleanup outside. For our Wednesdays, bro. 10 minutes? Yes! I'm getting back into it. Ever since I pulled my hamstring. I'm getting back into it. Cardio. Okay? The, that flag football game kind of taught me a lesson. Like I was out of, like I, I needed a little bit of cardio. Because before I was doing 30 minutes, two miles a week. Which nowadays, apparently, every, people do that every, every day. Which I don't know how, I don't think they lift. I think they just do like cardio. They like go outside and run. I kind of can't find the time to lift. Because I lift like hour and a half to, it's like a two hour thing. Plus run. And not be dead. Plus work. As much as I work, bro. We go back to football, bro. You know I've been here. So anyway, that's my what I've been doing. Anyway, this guy's this guy, look. Look at me reading chat and shit. This is true community stuff. This is this is really it. This is kind of lit. What did this guy say? I don't know. He said, "Will you go back to football, bro?" Low key, I've been watching football on college and NFL like heavy again. I was a former collegiate athlete. Bro, what if I joined a semi I, I, I could join a semi-pro football team. They have those. <laughs> semi-pro football teams are like 30-year-old dads that just play it for fun. What if I did that, bro? I mean, like, it'd be, I mean, it'd be like a small, it's like a local thing. What if I did that and just streamed practices, streamed games? Would you guys watch my team? Play a, wait, let me see. What's it called? Semi-pro football team. 
the Kansas City Renegades minor league football. See, look, they have these. Yeah, see, they're everywhere. And it's not like semi-pro. It's just like a little for fun thing. Let me watch the video. Over the game. One, two, three. It's one. one. Ah! Room has come to Time and money spent on practice. Our goal uh, for that national championship game, being able to represent Kansas City, and what that would mean to a lot of people. I mean, it looks like, which I think a lot of these smaller teams don't get, even in college. Some of the college teams, bro, they give them like the cheap cameras, <laughs> like the cheap broadcast team, actually. But you would think, like, if you watch a SEC championship game and then you watch the FCS championship, it's like lesser quality cameras. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, read these patch notes so I don't have to do it next time. It's the last patch of the year. 1223 is here. Oh. Okay, Lilu. Got a little rhyming going on. Nice, bro. Move to the ARAM slash post preseason patch. Oh, it's an ARAM patch. Let's go. It's an ARAM patch for the. That's awesome. That's hype, bro. That's hype. I love ARAM. Nerves, Lilia, Mord, Shivana. I told you these, sh these champs were fucked. Good. Syndra, Trindle, Yumi. I haven't seen Yumi. Love, Samumu, Shogath, Sante, Kane, Malphite, Malkai, Sion, Tom. Buffing all the tanks? Wait, Kasante buff? That's a buff for me. Shogath buff, buff for me. Adjusted, whatever. ARAM, oh my god, yeah, maybe I'll sit here and read all the ARAM. This is the, this is the jungle item I was crying about uh, before. I don't think Kasante needs a buff. I think he's good, but... Wait, what is this? Why is... There, we're missing, like, half a... Coming to the game, some of the stronger jungle companions and just the preseason, making a few adjustments, blah, blah, blah. Nasty buff duration, which, by the way, I didn't even know this existed. From 3 to 1.5 seconds. Yeah, I didn't even know this existed until yesterday. I thought I just gave a shield. Nasty type of uh, champion. Bro, queen. Just bro. The, the words, man. Come on. Whatever, I got nerf. Hydra, broken. Over shot with over Hydra's overall stats being a bit much too effective. Efficient item for the gold that it costs. We're preserving it as a niche item, as a rush item. Champions, not reading, bro. It was splash 60% AD for melee, 30% for range to 50 to 25, okay? The 4% Omnivamp removed. I think that's good. Because fuck the healing, to be honest. Sunfire. Down 100 gold combined cost. Plus 100 HP, just a flat buff, okay? Amumu. Health growth increased, Q mana cost increased, W damage increased, E base magic increased. So every ability buff. Except Q, mana cost increase. This is what they did last time. That made him broken. They made it, that nerfed him. You never saw him. So they made a Mumu support broken. They nerfed him. They made his bandage toss like 100 mana per toss. And they reverted it. Now they're changing it again. 30 to 40. About 10 per rank. Whatever. Insignificant. Mana. These characters don't have mana. Mana doesn't exist. Bro. They change the percentage of targets maximum HP. The 0.4 max rank. About 0.1 HP. Jungle Amumu maxes E? Jungle Tank Amumu maxes E, that's right. Cho'Gath, Big Cho, what's up? What's up, Big Cho? Missed you, bud. They're not making you big enough. Passive Mineral Surge increase, W base damage increase, R cooldown now de decrease with rank. Buffed is passive, buffed is W, buffed is R. Literal access to my land portal, item changes have resulted in a pretty sizable power loss to Cho'Gath in order to help him a good chunky monster again. You're putting some more power in his passive mana, sustain and letting him feast on enemies a bit more often. Mana restored on enemy kills from 3.5 to 4.7. That's pretty big. Just level 1. W base damage 5. It costs too much mana. W, the whole thing about W is it costs like 100 mana. Oh, but they're giving mana back on the kill. Or mana. Okay, I see. I see what we're doing here. 5, 10, 15, 20. Then R from 80, 76. The 20 seconds doesn't really matter. Easier to use it in lane, I guess. I always don't like the... These, these, on paper, you think that you won't notice it. But in-game, you actually will. Okay, this what's up. Uh, Mundo, I don't care. Sante, base health reduction increased. Health growth increased. He adjusted. Been, been a tad weak in average skill brackets. He's going to be, dude, he's strong high elo. There we go again with average, what's an average skill bracket? Let me see. Iron through gold. There we go again. 
Iron through gold players, balancing the game. Thank you, right? Thank you, noobs. Thank you, because you guys are terrible at the game. You're getting Cassante buffed. Congrats. He doesn't need it. Let's cater towards the normies that play five games and spam a Rams. Thanks, health. Health growth. Wait, he's an auto attack reset now. I thought I already did. Oh. Ours reset auto attack his base form will be a full auto attack reset while he's in all out form. Just the east side of Kazai is very close to dashing through a wall. He will now go through the wall. Wait, I played Kasante and I couldn't eat through walls at all. Wait, so Kasante can eat through walls? Or now he can eat through walls? Only in ult form? Oh, so kind of like Belveth, when she gets a stack or whatever. That's like a quality of life change. I don't care about Cassidy. Oh no, Kane's so weak. Passive Shadow Assassin bonus damage increased. E heal 80 ratio increased. Shadow Assassin Kane has fallen off over the course of the river. <sighs> Shadow Assassin bonus. Uh, 10, uh, whatever. 10 max rank, 5 early. That's a lot, by the way. I guess you, and you have to wait till you get form. Heal upon entering terrain. Guys, let's, let us not forget, by the way. Let us not forget. That Kane's E is Quinn's R, Quinn's W. It heals him. He can't be slowed. Lasts a longer, honestly. He's going to use it forever. Costs less mana. Etc, etc. Hate this character. E base damage decreased in Lilia. Nice. I'll fight. E base damage increased. Armor skill increased. Mana cost no longer increased with rank. Damn! The so scales more with armor. And they buffed it by 30. Max rank. And they lowered its mana by 50. I don't really see them in too much. Has heal increased. Q base damage increased. Damage to monsters increased. Do we really want jungle Malkai back? Already. I mean, dude. The, uh, Mal the so, by the way, Malkai can't, should never be strong just because of his E. Just so we're clear. What his E does and the way his E controls the game and controls the map and secures objectives and how, how it costs no mana and how it costs, like, they can like spawn it and snow cool down. Like it, the champ should, like that needs to be gutted and then I'm perfectly fine with doing anything to Maokai. But Maokai's saplings are so broken. They need to die quicker as well. They last too long. Heads damage cap against monsters decreased. Only proxy hit by large monsters. Damage cap against monsters lowered. Nice. Wait, what? Not lower. Oh, it went from 180. Holy shit. Went from 180 to 28. What the fuck? So it was just base 180. Now it's 28. Level 1. Wait, that's got to be huge. Shivana E damage. This champion needs reworked. Shivana needs reworked. E damage was marked. Ta enemies decrease. Shivana has been blazing through the new jungle. Thanks to the changes that made camps healthier and increased damage. Output upper E. We're taking down her maximum percent HP damage, so she isn't quite so precedent. I want to read this. Uh, dude, her... She does one big stat check the whole, whole entire time. She gets her dragon form, spams her E. And if they go on hit, she they just run at you. She needs rework. Scion base mana increased. Mana growth increased. Q base damage increased. 70 base mana. Pretty big. 10 mana growth. Q does 10 more damage. Don't care about Syndra. Don't care about Tom King. Don't care... You mean passive cooldown increased, our root duration decreased. You mean so has been one of the most frustrating and most popular played champs in the game. We think there's a better place for Yumi where we can deliver on her gameplay fantasy for her players while also making her less frustrating to play against. In this patch, we're giving Yumi a distant sized nerf. We're sort of started work on a larger scale Yumi rework. To help this cat land in such a much healthier spot. We're to highlight what Yumi has an attached on Target One Chandra can provide to her team. We'll have some more news to share on this in the future, but for now, we appreciate your patience as we work on Yumi. We're not patient. A plus four. Just cut her. I, that's fine. Keep her unplayable. Zach's broken. Pass feeling increased. Cool up. Cool up. This champ's sleeper OP. I don't care. This champ's been sleeper OP for a year plus. Not reading it. Not reading it. Fuck Ziri. Jungle adjustments. Okay. They're nerfing everything. Jungle camps will do damage now. For sure. Right? If you don't help jungle companions scale better with tanks. Or reducing the amount of gold they give to their owners. The jugglers are often simply ahead of in gold compared to laners. Dirt the dirt, no shit. Your jungle command anymore treat them the first level of the jungle campaign to consume two bonus treats and large monster kills and receive the social benefits from 50 to 35. The 20% bonus damage provided by companions no longer works on epic monsters. And that's good, right? That makes them clear slower, right? 
And if they clear slower, surely they'll take more damage. Wait, Epic Monsters isn't like Gromp? It's only on Dragons and Baron? I didn't even notice it was a thing. What are we, taking Baron too slow? What the fuck? Oh no, oh no, they're taking Dragon too fast, guys. Remove it. Oh no, they're doing 20% more. What the fuck? I didn't even know that existed. So this, in, in reality, this does nothing. Nice. Waste my time reading it. Jungle camps, making a few follow-up changes to the previous jungle adjustments just in the last patch. Drop attack range, lower. Grab their attack range, lower. Leash ranges have an offset for campus spot location. Give me more space for champions to move. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, give them more XP as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Woo! 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 Objective play. What's the piece of shoes that we've had in the past? Cater towards being personal intent, the ability to describe what you and your... I don't even notice it, by the way. But it's showing up too frequently or irrelevant moments when it comes to budget planning. We want to make sure that we're showing relevant information to players. Help them make better... Blah, blah, blah. More voting disabled. Vote timing 90 to 75. And it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not. I don't notice it because it scales with HUD size. And I play with one HUD size. But if you play with higher HUD size, it's huge. Aram Clash! Cool! It's to be the, the fun of League without having to do research beforehand. So, like we added item recommendations to Shabra, so adding a rune recommender. Rec Wait. Recommender, wait, this is actually big. Remember how I talk about how you low elo players? Like, you players in bronze, five. Like, you could climb to at least silver by just going the right runes in the right build every game. Now Riot's added that to help you fucking idiots. And, bro, I bet they, they add this rune recommender. Recommend, recommender. We're recommending this to you. Right? And this item thing. And I bet you there's still you bronze four, bronze five players that won't just build it, by the way. You'll, you'll ignore the suggested runes and the build and build something completely else. It is. Like, bro, you you have to be a special kind of stupid to be in Bronze 5 slash Iron. I'm sorry. It's true. You have to actively sabotage your own games. And, and if you can't understand that, I'm sorry, bro. You're never leaving. For all that of the rune, for all champ selects. All players have a free three rune page that recommend, recommender will overwrite. The five preset rune changes have been removed. Wow. Pick order swapping. I've been calling for this since top challenge. There's an important part of the game that queues support and queues that support drafting. So we want to make it easier for team optimizes draft set. Clearly, there are a lot of opportunities for things to go wrong. Players trying to the order. You have to communicate the chant. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yeah, so we'll be streaming this process. Blah, blah, blah. After we queue the drafting, drag the declaration ban and pick phase. You can now press a button next to ally porters to swap pick order with them. There's a five seconds left of the phase of progress. Order swap request will be canceled. Order swap is declined. You can change another request to that player. So they still have to be there to swap. Change swap the preseason preparation phase is now initiated by it. Click on that. Yes, we just read that. That means that now you can, like, if you're top lane, you can just swap picks, pick order. But, like, I don't want to even get counter pick support, to be honest. But, well, I'm starting to think first pick tops a myth. But you just play safe, bro. Champs like Nami refer to the fact that the only difference between ally names champs like be the numbers 1 through 5, it can be difficult to tell who's speaking. We're a lot of people are talking at the same time, so now you'll get a code name. Ally 1 through 5 has been renamed to Gromp, Murkwolf, Wolf, Raptor, Krug, and Scuttlecrab for improved clarity on who's speaking. So instead of Ally 1, you'll be Gromp. So I'll be talking to Gromp. Wolf Camp, the Raptor, the Krugs. Yo, what's up, Krug? Yo, Krug, you want to swap? Scuttle Crab, yo, what's up, bro? Yo, Scuttle Crab, go exhaust. Dude, we don't need Ignite in this matchup. Go exhaust, Scuttle Crab. Behavioral Systems! End of season honor rewards, including the new honor level 5 mouse horror skin reward, will be granted according to your honor level at the end of the season. Let's go, bro. That's so hype. ARAM AFK threshold has been changed to 120 seconds from 90. Oof, don't be AFK in any RAM. Champs like favoring improvements. Usability around favoring champs so that you can find them faster. Champ select to remind you, you can right click champions. Yeah, I already knew that. This makes it easier though. You can sort it. Ping adjustments. <laughs> ping sizes have been significant, slightly reduced. Improve the clarity of the push ping. Polish the ping ripple. VFX visual effect and visual icons. Okay, so bait ping still in the game. It's still in the game. We're chilling. 
updated death stance to no it's bleed with all of our interrupt recalls. Wait, that's actually huge. But that's actually big. Death stance, like it would always bleed. You have to like buy you have to wait like five seconds and then it would finally you could recall. That's big. It's a bug that allowed Ivern to smite jungle monsters, not marked by his passive. Camps are friends. Oh god forbid. Oh no, god forbid Ivern gets to fucking get a little help in the jungle with his 45% win rate and 1% pick rate. You know what that means? He has a 45% win rate, and he's only played by one tricks. So the one tricks can't even win on him. They're just tanking their accounts. Do you understand that? Like, nobody plays him, and when they do play him, they lose. Like, how crazy is that? It's kind of like Quinn. People would always cry about Quinn having a 53% win rate at all ranks. And if she had, like, a 2% pick rate, only played by one tricks, at least those one tricks could win. If you pick Ivern, you can't win, bro. It's it's not it's like you're literally griefing your teeth that bad of a pick. Good god, how many bugs is there? Fix the bug that caused Ravenous Hydra to stop functioning correctly. 40 minutes after purchasing the item. So what so what? So after 40 minutes the item would just stop working. <laughs> Dude, how does that happen? I mean cool, bro. I mean this is a pretty sizable buff. This is the last bunch of buff of preseason or the year? Last patch of the year. I mean, that was, they, there was a lot of changes, to be honest. I've seen a lot of tanks get buffed. A lot of AP bruisers got nerfed. I mean, they're broken by default. Bro, I clicked the league. Bro, I can't. I can't do this. I, I went to the league subreddit, dude. First thing I see is, who from Riot thought that adding bushes everywhere and blocking 80% of a path with a tower would make ARAM more fun? I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't sit here. I can't. Like, dude, this is Reddit. Bro, it is the ARAM players. It is the ARAM players. It's it's the top post in five hours. Read some of the comments. They're probably like, yeah, bro, this is terrible. Any <laughs> Anyone who... I can't. This is real people. Anyone who played ARAM even a little bit could have told them that the tower is blocking most of the lane was a horrendous idea. I can't wait to play against Teemo and Ziggs. Bro, you're playing ARAM. You are playing ARAM. It doesn't matter, man. Who cares what you're playing against, bro? You're, you, are, are, is, there's no ranked mode. What are you crying about? I'm waiting for the heels to be a bit off center of the map for like years. So you don't want to walk into them. And their ARAM update doesn't even include that simple QL change, Lamal. Like, like these guys are dumbfounded about the Riot not catering towards ARAM. <laughs> these are people. Like, who types like that? Like, I'm sorry. I cannot imagine, like, waking up in the morning, having, having... My blood rush, walking to my computer, drinking it, sitting down, rubbing my hands together and being like, ah, this is the perfect example of overdeveloping and features for the sake of having new features. If your, if your customer is happy, you don't need them. Like, bro, like, <laughs> who does that? Like, they're not normal. He has one of the steepest smash recruit. I'm not. See, I don't care. Wait, I remember Cinder at 20. Wait, is it still up? I haven't been there forever, actually. Not very on brand, but life sucks major right now. My marriage, my life, and certainly the website livelihood ha feel like they've fallen apart beyond repair. And last year, not sure who I am, what to do, where to go, or even why. Sorry, I couldn't be better. Love y'all. Huh? See what I'm talking about? Rough, dude. It's okay, bro. Moo, moo beat. It's all right, bro. Come back to Surgrat 20 when you're ready, dude. I'm talking about. We're all fighting our demons, bro. So, and, and some of our demons are stronger than others. It is what it is, bro. You can win. Red up, King. Kana's again. Perma. Is anyone sick of the mentality people have about this game? What does that mean? Stuff like blaming the game for their poor, <laughs> their poor attitude. Constantly talking shit about the gamer mechanics. I feel like this is directed towards streamers. And it's clearly your own fault for why they died or lost. Wanting to give up after 10 minutes in a game. Always wanting to put... I feel like this is targeted towards somebody. Always want to put down the people who have a positive outlook on the game, claiming addiction for why they play it so much. I f this is oddly specific. This is weird. I really feel like this is targeted at somebody. I'm not really sure who. What the hell? The game has, an issue, has its issues, yes, but at the end of the day, you're responsible for your own happiness and mental health. You're the reason you are losing. Not your team. Not Riot. You are. Try to keep a positive outlook. Remember, it's just a game. Have fun. Quit trying to ruin other people's good times because you're not the main character of a match. <laughs> get handled that you play a game, you get mad, and other people really enjoy it. If you can't do any of that, then just stop talking. I, this is 
Nah, this is... No, bro. He's talking to me for sure. This is weird. Nah, this is weird, bro. Let's struggle with it. For me, everyone's being humankind is flawed. Maybe we keep playing as long as he could. It looks like no one picked him up for next season. Hopefully he can start an academy team to help bring in talent. Wait. Was it, who was he on last year? FlyQuest? Was it FlyQuest? I mean, dude's like 78 or something, right? I feel like the titles are just... It's, it's, you get more information just reading the title. AP Belvis Pinta. In ARAM. They upload ARAM clips. This guy's name? Half Rar. I mean, let me check this guy's rank. Half Rar. Ace. Quality so low, bro. Half Rar. He's EU witty. Flat two. Play with a full team of silver players. Bro, that's a cool type. Nice, that was a waste of my time. So, I mean, no, that's a waste of my time. We didn't learn anything productive there. I learned that Afro Moo was not on a team. This one says Tyler Stone Ocean. What is this? What is this, man? What does this even mean, bro? Greek does not tolerate non-believers. Look at me, priest. Yeah, this is the last motherfucking yeah. time, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you, you, you <laughs> the motherfucking you devil out of you. I'm gonna knock this mother motherfucking that isn't de real. Be the devil out that of you. isn't real. Jerry, yeah. beat you. the motherfucking devil. Yeah. Yeah. Beat the motherfucking devil out of this Boys. motherfucker. You sm you. Motherfucker. Chicken eating motherfucker. Jesus gives hopes to anyone and many rocks. It's not <laughs> Jesus here, man. I, I worship the devil, man. Enjoy what? 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 You motherfucker. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, God. Don't you motherfucker. Do that. Don't do that. I'll fucking. Don't talk I'll put my fist. <laughs> okay. I guess Twitch is a different time back then, so it doesn't really matter. It keeps looking like he has cat ears when he sits at the correct height. Can't unsee. I would never even second thought about that at all until somebody said, like, have the ones next. <laughs> this was four days ago, by the way. This shit. Bro, I was like, dude, that, this was four days ago. I didn't even notice. This guy got. <laughs> people hated this guy. People people hated this guy's ideas so bad, it's at 40% upvoted, zero points. Let's read it. Watch this video here in Time Talk. Like he's in a group of friends. I realized that he has to be his next challenge. Make a five man team, queue up for whatever the hell it's called, where you play with teams. Right can sponsor him to advertise the game mode. Advertise the game mode. It'd be great to hear him banter with friends and strategize. Tyler One Challenge. Find four friends. What are you talking about? Not a single group of four people that can... See, this is, this is, look, look at this toxic comment. <laughs> Tyler, there is not a single group of four people that can play as much as Tyler can. Tyler playing with da -da -da other people. If you still like a little version of T1, I can't unsee it. Bro, this, guy, this kid doesn't look like me at all. It's so cringe. Bro, I get added on Twitter all the time. I get added on... Banned for saying... I get added on Twitter all the time of, like, a bald... Like, it's like a little bald short person. Right? They just at me. Look, Tyler One, it's you! Don't look anything like me. Yo, ha ha! At little Tyler One, ha <laughs> I found you, bro! <laughs> Why'd you do that, bro? <laughs> I asked if you were gonna play Overwatch today and got instant permit ban. I don't know by whom or why. That yeah, was probably by fucking me, because you Overwatch freaks are disgusting. I haven't, wa I haven't watched his content for a while. Maybe a stream here or there. Went to watch him play Overwatch recently and found out I was permabanned. I wonder why he's not getting as many views as he used to. Yes, because I'm banning everybody, bro. Yes, I'm banning everybody. What's I get banned for? Those guys I said Sumo Meglo during a Mahalzi meet. A good amount of people poke fun at Sumo in the Mahalzi community. Get your on a T1 sub. Shut the fuck up. I bet if we looked at your logs, it'd be a cesspool. Hate watching at its finest. True, bro. Let's look at this guy's logs. Oh, those are my logs. Wait, why are those my logs? Maybe other bug. You know, this account, this guy's account, got suspended or deactivated. Wuju doing God's work in here. Wuju's really, Wuju. I mean, has made a full career on it. Is 
to where the actual fucking keyboard warriors go. Connor gets away with an accidental kill in Among Us VR. I see your arms. You can't see your arms. Can we see our arms in, in, the, in the voting thing? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, we can. Oh, we vote and then we do rock, paper, scissors. Wait, isn't that point and then there's like, what's the other one? Oh, it's just a hand? A oh, rock? Oh, wait, oh you can do rock. That mean someone has to someone has to die because, wait, they didn't have a button? No, we do do, I, I think Connor should have a button. Yeah, I still have a button. You want to do a button now? Yeah. Wait, why? Okay. Yeah, what are we do doing? Button, then rock, paper, scissors. Oh, okay, okay, scissors, okay sure, sure. Rock, oh! Oh, wait. Yeah, rock, paper, scissors. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's, let's go. do rock, paper, scissors. Alright, All right, let's go, baby. Nice. Why is this clip 50 seconds long? Just because he killed... Nice. That was a waste of my time. Messi on Aguro's stream with Papa Gomez. Break. Me dijeron. I mean, that's... This is it. I mean, whatever. Soccer, but... I will say, one thing that is exciting is seeing, like, higher, I mean, I'm a famous celebrity, obviously, but seeing the higher sports people come to, like, start going on Twitch streams. Actually. This one says, not safe for work. And it says, Forsten watches his favorite anime on stream. Let me see. Being racist towards Asian as a joke? I mean, that's enough for me. Shroud reminds F1 Lando about a career highlight. But yeah, of course, I mean. Bro, I want to buy a race car setup. Uh, Sorry, by habit, yeah, I started course, skipping I it. Mistakes. Everybody's saying, oh, God, I don't think I should say this. What? Oh, God. Uh, okay, it's not me. This is what everybody's saying. They're saying... They're I think racing is just fun. If you know what that is, but they're saying Sochi. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Sochi? Yeah. Sochi. I, I don't... Sochi. Uh... I don't. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't get it. But I'm assuming. I don't get it. I'm out of touch. Me spanking a big booty Puerto Rican goddess. <laughs> okay, that one was pretty good. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Okay, that one was pretty good. I think this is carried by the title. Soda eats a tomato. Oh god, I can taste They're it. So okay. fucking nasty. Do it. Don't do it, bro. Stop. Stop. Up. Stop, bro. Stop. They're so nasty. I know, bro. Spit it out fast. I'm just thinking about that. Nasty ass taste. Oh god, I can taste it. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, it's so nasty. Tomatoes are disgusting, bro. I'm sorry. Tomatoes are disgusting. No, 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 no. Tomatoes are nasty. Hell no. Tomatoes, onions, no, sir. I cannot. They are, bro. It's not because it's healthy. I like, like, I like vegetables. I do. I like broccoli, carrots, corn, celery. I like, I like vegetable. Wait, is tomato a vegetable or a fruit? Like, what's that argument? Is it tomato a vegetable or a fruit? It's a fruit? Disgusting. And it gives fruits bad name. Hassan, a bee. Banned? Hassan got banned? No! Why do you get banned? Oh my god. Is it perma? Is it a perma ban? Damn. I mean, no. I mean, <laughs> thank God it's not a perma ban. <laughs> Destiny with another hot take on Loud W. I met Hassan in person. I thought he was good. Or he seemed fine in person to me. I seen him twice, actually. I seen him at the TwitchCon IRL. I met him. And then the second TwitchCon IRL. Or the yeah. Is Destiny banned? Are you allowed to watch? I'm just not even going to bother not watching that dude for the for these can you guys just summit summarize it for me what is destiny's hot take on a, the loud w streamer community who's the loud w streamer kai aiden 
Is XQC allowed? W streamer or not? I don't know, bro. I don't follow this. Speed. Oh, yeah, the speed guy. The... I was racist or whatever. He said, all new black streamers are loud. Surely he didn't say it that... <laughs> Surely he didn't say it that blatant. Surely he just... He didn't say it like that. That's no... There's no way. I... He did? <laughs> I mean, you would think that they would... He would, like, uh, try to sugarcoat it a little bit. Golly, he just came in there and dropped that. Yeah, a lot of them... Dude, it's too much energy. They're too young. It's, they're, they're young, bro. I remember I would always do that. And then I was spam losing my voice. And I got to the point I was yelling so much, maybe it was combined with lifting, that I pulled a muscle in my heart, or it, around my heart, from, like, yelling. And ever since then, I haven't really yelled la like a lot, a lot. I still yell, yes, but not like... You watch my old day, I was perma-yelling constantly. Might have been a muscle in my chest. So I couldn't yell at all for like three days, if you remember. But nowadays, I yell, but I'm like so unconditioned. Okay, I yell. I talk, I speak loud. When I yell, yell, I like lose my voice. I'm like an amateur. Number one Osu player gets the PP record back. Oh, I remember I played this with Greek a while ago. Years ago. Oh, this is kind of hard. He hasn't messed up. Oh, you guys can see it. That's hyperventilating. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess if this <laughs> I guess if he's the number one he just set a record. XUC this is an XUC thinks speeding race out of context. This is this should be fine, right? I'm gonna I'm having PR man. Dude, 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 dude. I don't know the extent of the How how long was XU stream at this point? Is this like later in the stream or earlier? He's like he's about to die, bro. The whole thing. I don't really give a fuck, okay? It could have been anybody, okay? I'm not going too deep into it, okay? I don't have the... Everything to make... Uh, to form a complete thought. And I know what it's like to be labeled as a racist, okay? Um, From out of context things, and it's fucking lame. It's fucking... So he was saying out of context. Why did that take 30 seconds? What just happened? You know that 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 Billy Madison scene where he's like, at no point did you make a coherent sentence and everything you, you said is blah, 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 blah. We are all dumber for now hearing that and may God have mercy on your soul or, or whatever. You know that? I feel like every time I watch an, an XQC clip, it's literally that Billy Madison quote. Like, seriously, like, 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 every time. <laughs> Kanye West torches the last remnants of his stream career, saying he like. After chat releases the starter, Miskiff ends Twitch plays Pokemon over low viewership. Even though he doesn't care about viewership. That's just bait. This is, there is, it's just all drama. Actually, like, that's just people trying to, like, oh, literally all those. <sighs> Wait, hold on, I just. E-Rob shits his pants. Hold on. I, I'll watch this one. It says, E-Rob shits his pants, digging a hole. I'll watch this one. I'll watch this one. Why did you say something? Um, I need your bathroom. My bathroom? <laughs> My bathroom. Wait, what's on the back of his shorts? My bathroom? My Wait, that's dirt for sure. 
That's dirt. No, that was already there. He didn't literally shoot his pants. It's dirt. It's dirt. <laughs> XQC, 27 years old, does his laundry for the first time by himself with the help of Twitch chat. And they say, chuck it in. Okay. Bop. I'll pull him. And then the guy says, fuck is up. It's, they already have some in it. Mac. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. Um... Bro, why, doing the laundry is so easy nowadays, actually. Because the pods make it so easy. I remember at college, I had to do it all the time. I don't do it now. Kayla's going to comment for sure. Is she in here yet? There, go. there it is. Shut the fuck I knew it. As soon as, as soon as I said that, I knew she was going to watch. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, here we go. You, yeah, I, I knew it. I called that, by the way. I, I called that happening before it happened. Anyway, what I was saying was, doing the laundry is easy, bro, nowadays, because of the pods. Kayla copes, like, it's so hard. Bro, I did, I was at college for three and a half, like, three years. I did my own laundry every, at every point of that. It's easy. I didn't even sort it in college. Wait, do you, do you even have to sort laundry anymore? Like, lights and grays? Or, like, lights and colors? I know back in the day, that was, like, a big thing. Yeah, so I would do two loads. I would do clothes, like all my clothes, and then I would do uh, towels and like separate, like thicker things separate. That's it. Once a, once every two weeks, I would do it. Easy. I think the hardest part of doing laundry is folding. It kind of sucks. Folding sucks. Project L is the fighting game, I believe. I don't play fighting games. Nah, I never got into them, and it turns out it's because my keyboard and my mouse have never been good enough. You need a certain string keys or some shit. Glimpse of their office. Hi, everyone. This is Tom from the Project L team. Tom. I'm back with our second promised update this year. Our last two updates focused on the big picture. We're a free-to-play tag team fighter set in the universe of Runeterra. I know at this point you're probably itching for some details. So this time, we're going to send the year off right with a deep dive into some of our core systems. But first, here's a quick update on Alawi. We revealed Alawi in our update last August. Back then, Alawi was in the initial DNA phase of I development. Think Riot took where designers, narrative writers, oh, and artists oh. explore concepts for the character's visuals, thematics, and overall kit design. Over the past few months, people, the team has taken Alawi from people, concept to an early playable form. Alawi is now live in our internal playtests with this early draft of our model and kit. What you're seeing here is about 30% complete. Right now, the team is focused on fully realizing our combat fantasy as a big body brawler and good. narrowing in on know. the mechanics of our tentacle attacks. And is this good considered Meanwhile, I don't know. the art like team continues to work on our model, ball. animations, sound, and VFX. She's still got a lot of work to be done, and that means it's time to talk about our big update for today, Project L's gameplay. I always thought that was a meme, by the way. Hold on. I always thought that was a meme. I didn't know people actually use those to talk with. Gameplay. I didn't know that people actually use those to talk with. They couldn't give you a, a, a microphone or anything? Little headset, right? Cheap down a little bit. You got to use your own air, your your own like ear pot. Like, yeah, hey everyone, talking. I'm Sean Unconquerable Rivera, game director and gameplay design lead for Project L, Sean and I'm here to up. talk you through some of our core gameplay principles. We want to create a game where you can have fun right away, while also rewarding you for the time you spend mastering it. Our dream is making sure our champions have fast, powerful abilities, look really sick while doing them, and are even more powerful it when paired with flexible exactly systems. Gameplay that fighter. has quick, fluid movement at its core you guys is know extremely. Know that Adrian Riven is apparently like cracked at 
fighting games. And like he goes to lands. You guys know that. And plays like for like Dragon Ball and shit. Important to us. We believe there are a ton of opportunities for player expression and mastery through how you move. In Project L, you can walk, run, it's dash, no player, chain so dash, sense. jump, long jump, and super jump. And on top of that, many champions have their own unique air mobility options. Putting your champ in the right place at the right time is a skill that you can gradually get better at over time. We also want to incentivize action. This means making sure that your offense is rewarding and that your buttons are worth pressing. Plus, at, we think this makes playing and watching more exciting. We want you to have powerful buttons which are useful in a number of ways, while also giving you the tools you need to defend against them. We have a mix of big, clear defensive options and some more nuanced systems that reward you for reading your opponent's next move. Those are just some of the basics, but I've still got more to cover today. We were originally developing Project L to be a 1v1 game where two champions enter and one emerges victorious. But around two years ago, we made the pivot to a tag team assist-based fighter. Our tag systems are deep and flexible, aimed at helping you unlock Wait, your creativity. Wait, is it tag where you could swap out They work in tandem champs? with our champions, allowing two champion teams to take down opponents together. We really felt like it gave us more space to create hype moments. That's what Dra Dragon Ball does that, right? Champions could live up to Okay, Dragon Ball does that, but games like uh, Street Fighter, right, I think it's called, they, that ha that's a 1v1, correct? Yes, okay, okay. To their fantasies. And I mean, who doesn't love a good team fight? Well, that probably fits me more. Let's break down some of the things you just saw. Okay. Help your main champion, which we'll call your point, okay. and your assist champion can set up some killer combos using all of our tag systems. But for today, I want to focus on three of them. Assist actions, handshake tag, and dynamic save. These names aren't locked, so they may be called something different the next time you see them. percent of the way through. Assist actions are your bread and butter, and each champion has two they can perform from off screen. You can even hold the input to get a charge assist. Handshake tag lets you immediately swap between your point and assist champions as long as they're both on screen. Oh, that was just of a When combined with assist actions, it also lets you set up some really powerful pressure sequences. And you can even use these to extend your combos as well. The last tag system I want to talk about today is Dynamic Save, Project L's combo breaker. At the start of each match, you have access to your Dynamic Save ability. Dynamic save lets you call your assist champion on screen in an attempt to save your point champion. No, I don't think so. If it's successful, the results can be explosive. Um, but be careful about timing your dynamic save because it can be countered if you're being too predictable. There's still more to uncover about our gameplay, but that's all we're ready to share for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll hand things back to Tom to say goodbye. All right. Thanks, Sean. We're pretty pumped about how things are coming together, and I hope you are too. That good. As always, let us know what you think. Also, thanks to all the tournament organizers nice who blade. met with us this at Evo good, last by the way. <laughs> to share your thoughts, feelings, and hopes for Project Tom, Bell's good, community bro. and competitive nice scene. Bloodshot? We're making this, this game with you in mind, plastic, by the and way. we want to empower you to keep pushing our community forward. Finally, for those of you out there looking to get into fighting games for the first time, try finding a local scene in your area. Fighting games, like most things, are way better when they're enjoyed with friends. False. FGC folks, help the new folks out by sharing your links in the comments. Thanks so much for everything, and stay tuned for more next year. So I was going to say, so fighting games have like a very um, closed audience or viewers.
viewer base, or not viewer base, player base. Usually fighting games players only play other fighting games. Ish, yeah. It's not everybody. That's usually how it goes. So, like, if you play, like, wait, I, th maybe that's not true, because I know, I feel like I don't, people that play, like, Super Smash only play Super Smash games. But got people that play, like, Street Fighter play, like, the game, the Batman, isn't the one with, like, Batman and something, and then Dragon Ball Tekken, yeah. Justice, yeah, like those games, they play each other. But the the, the Nintendo friends, they usually stay on the Nintendo. Can I be an Overwatch Twitch rivals? That's a good question. I'll probably get invited if there is. Why didn't he grind end of season Overwatch? Uh, because we went from silver one to gold four. By going 10 and 2, I then, after I got promoted, I went 7 and 7, stayed the same. Then after I stayed the same, I lost 7 games in a row. So I am guaranteed to drop, unless I win 6 in a row, which wasn't going to happen. I was guaranteed to drop from gold 4 to silver 1. So I just wanted to end the season gold 4. So I can't my rank. Long story short, I had ranked anxiety. I didn't want to finish silver, so I finished gold four. Yeah, I actually don't really care about any of this. Let me troll game mode. Yo. Maybe they should dumb it down for noobs. How about that? I don't know all this shit they're saying. I'm a fucking new player. Is this how is, is this how you silver and iron people? See leak patch notes, bro? Like, bro, dumb it down a little bit. Competitive play? Oh yeah, okay. I care about competitive play. So you can two competitive play against now. Here's some updates we're introducing to competitive. There are new temp competitive title rewards for name cards based on end of season rank. Competitive title. Maybe I should open that now while we're reading this. Season, what's up? So that wind a league. What is the plan today? I hope you're doing day good, good. Oh, you said that a long time ago. Sorry, bro. Um, you can only earn these titles at the end of the current competitive season. You can only use them in the season following. Here's another level of competitive play. We'll have a lock icon in the hero gallery. We've a group of matchmaking enhancements to improve. I hate it when they say this. I hate it when companies say this, bro. Implemented a group of matchmaking enhancements to but they don't ever talk about this. Right? And and there's no like actual statistics to prove it from. They they just give you a percentage. Like, watch. On the next patch, they'll be like, yo. Since implementing a group of matchmaking enhancements to improve match quality, we've seen 27% more positive matches. But, like there's no they don't provide any stats, bro. Give us a fucking number. Whatever. New hero, Ramatria. Won't be available and competitive for two weeks. Oh my god! Wait, so you can't instantly pick a new hero in ranked? Wow! Bro, I'm not... Maybe I was right, bro. Maybe Overwatch is the lead killer in disguise. Low-key, bro. Well, I've been begging Riot to do this for... Since 2018. Because everybody that would have locked in this champ for the first time in ranked would have just been griefing their team. And honestly, I would argue that locking in a new champ in League is even worse because you can't swap off during the game. They do do that in Valorant. Why? They refuse to change some of these things in League. It's actually crazy, bro. Drill passive no longer provides a movement speed bonus. Reload speed increased from 25 to 35. I didn't even know that existed. I'm not going to read patch notes because I don't know anything about them and I'm a noob. There's new maps. It's a new patch. Wait, are these all new? And bug fixes. Anyway, that's it for me. Show the subs, the Ds, the follows. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Insta. A Squad. We out in this bitch mother. Fuckers! And with that being said, I'll see you low, elo, lanky, bum, broke, jobless, bitch ass, untalented, unathletic, freak headed ass losers tomorrow. Same time ish. Peace.